Are you ready for my poem? Roses are red, violets are blue, come outside because I miss you. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to laugh every day. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. We're in the hotel doing some PT. Sorry about the shaking. And we slept well. We edited the vlog once we got here, so it was super late once we went to bed. But. But now we're, we're ready. We're about an hour away. If you missed yesterday's vlog, we are going to surprise Mary's college roommate and good friend. We're going to show up at her house and we've got some plans to surprise her. So Don't mind me if I have like little like explosion parties by myself. Yeah. That happens. No, like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's awesome. See you on the way. can't get it to go off. You must hit, do you press it? No. For some reason I cannot work the sound, but Peter can. Magical, magical Peter. So We are on the road, guys. We are 26 minutes away, and I am so excited. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Good? Good, good, good. All right, now you know it's real time business. So we have the big camera ready so that Peter's gonna stand right outside the car. I'm gonna be on the phone with her and I'm gonna tell her, um, come outside. And then she's gonna come outside and then we're gonna see her. Right? That's hilarious. Hey, can I read you a poem? I've been working on a poem for you. Okay, I've been working really hard on this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for my poem? Roses are red, violets are blue, come outside because I miss you. She was brushing her teeth. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh, Mary! <laughs> You're real! <laughs> You're sneaky! <laughs> All right, so we are finally here, officially. So happy, so thankful that we made it. And Peter and Ollie are back there. We just went to the grocery store. We're just hanging out and having a fun time. So, Tamara. Oh yeah, everybody, this is Tamara. Hello. And we were college roommates and we've been friends since day one. So, that's the story. The life of a CF dog. Like you're just laying on the shaking floor. <laughs> oh, it's so comfortable. <laughs> it's my happy place. Um, there was this like beautiful, fluffy white comforter on here, and I knew like we're gonna want to take the white one off because Oliver, he's a clean dog, but he's a dog, so sometimes his paws leave a little footprint. That's why we chose to put this dark one on. <coughs> so we're up in Tamara's upstairs bedroom and we're so thankful to be here. We'll introduce Corey once he gets home from work. Corey and Tamara got married two, a little over two years ago. And they're so we were here for their wedding. It was so Mary awesome. was in the wedding and I was really cool. This was the first wedding that I got to preach at. Oh, that's right! Yeah. Oh man, I forgot about that. So, anyway, yeah, we're so excited to be here and thankful that this worked out. 
All right, you guys, we're sitting down to an amazing dinner. Delicious. Ollie's sleeping, and I wanted to introduce Corey. So this is Corey. Tamara and Corey got married a little over two years ago, and we're just excited to be here with them. Uh, Look at Ollie, he's sleeping in here while we're eating dinner. <gasps> you you want me to help you with Ollie? Oh, I'll help you with Ollie. Who's looking for it? Yeah. Okay, so okay, yeah. look how beautiful it is out here. Oh, it's just a flat, beautiful Ohio. I don't think the camera is picking up the coloring, but beyond here, there, you're getting it a little bit. It's like pinkish. So beautiful. Oh, look at the bones. All snuggled up, a couple days of traveling, and Ollie's been such a trooper. He's a good boy. Good boy. Oh, I had a good question on Facebook. Somebody asked, how do we feed Oliver when we're traveling? Probably specifically in the airport. Um, so he ate hit one meal in the morning before we left, and he ran, and he pooped, and he drank, and he peed all before we left for the airport. And then once we got to the hotel last night, he ate again and drank and went to the bathroom and did everything. So um, basically, and the other times he's flown, if it's in the morning, we give him a little drink in the morning, but then not a huge drink because then he won't have to like, have to hold it while we're flying or whatever. But um, yeah, usually we just try not to let him eat eat or drink a whole lot within a few hours beforehand. Um, but he's, I mean, he, he can go like all day without going outside. He's not like a needy, he's not like constantly needing to go out anyway. So the fact that we were in the airport and then on the airplane, it wasn't like in the middle of a time that he would normally be outside going to the bathroom or anything. So it worked out. Um, yeah, he's a pretty flexible guy yeah. and can go with the flow. So. We're really thankful for that, and yeah. he he did really well traveling, and it was funny, Mary and I, yesterday, as we were flying, we're remembering the first time we flew with him was almost exactly two years ago, Yeah, when he was 10 months old. He was and in training, obviously. He was, it was his first time going to visit Amanda, who kept Oliver and trained him while we were in Scotland. And so we we're just remembering that flight, and then th it was the same route we flew from Boston to Chicago. So he did well that first flight when he was yeah. ten months old. He really did surprisingly well. Yeah. The most like unsettling thing for him that very first flight when he was ten months old was when he when we were like the first people on the plane, and we were sitting in that first row where it's the bulkhead, so there was extra room at the feet. And he was laying there and watching everybody come on. I think that for him was like, oh, what's happening? Where's everybody going? But once we, I mean, and he just laid there, it was fine, but I could tell that he was like, what, what? Um, and then the rest of the flight, he just laid there. Even when the plane came to a stop, like he was like, no big deal. Yeah. So he's he hasn't, I mean, he loves the car so much. I think he just thinks it's a big car. <laughs> it was cute though yesterday. Um, Usually he just lays down during takeoff, and he was laying down for most of it, but he also, like, looked up and saw out the window, so he, like, stood up and, like, sat near the window to look out. It was really cute. Um, yeah, so he's a good flyer. <laughs> and, guys, we have some exciting news, like, literal news. Uh, a website called Cystic Fibrosis News Today wrote an article about us here on the Fry Life and what we're doing to kind of share our story with the CF community and beyond. And so they wrote a little bit about us. And if you guys want to check out that article, there's a link down in the description. And Cystic Fibrosis News Today posts articles pretty much every day and keeping up with what's going on in the CF community with drug advancements and all, all kinds of things and even us so if you guys want to check that out go check it out yeah it's been so encouraging like the boomer science and foundation is another cystic fibrosis group 
that um, they shared our other article. Is that how it worked? Mm -hmm. And it's just been cool to like kind of feel like we're partnering with and working, not working with, but like kind of in a, like we're just all this big family, like trying to spread CF awareness. And you guys are part of that, like yeah. 10,000 of you who are like, yeah, let's be a family and get the word out and yeah. um, cheer each other on during hard days and good days. And so if you're having a hard day or a good day today, whether it's because of CF or family things or another chronic illness or whatever it is, we are cheering for you. We are so glad that you are a part of our Fry Life family. And as always, guys, we will, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night.